Hello everyone. For our approach, we from Fraunhofer Institute SIT in Darmstadt, we first analyze the feature distribution of the fake news spreaders and non-fake news spreaders. And we found out that fake news spreaders don't like to retweet tweets, they don't like to mention other Twitter users or use slash hashtags. Additionally, the tweets of fake news spreaders are more negative and the tweets of non-fake news spreaders are more positive. That's why for our first approaches, we decided to test handcrafted features like counts of hashtags and URLs, and we used emotional lexicons for sentiment analysis. We also experimented with word embeddings, with BERT and deep learning models like CNN. But this did not work at all. The performance was really bad, and I mean, it was just slightly above chance. The things that worked so that we were able to achieve the third place in the competition were the old but gold machine learning techniques, SVM and logistic regression, in combination with character engrams. And I think it worked best because Twitter texts are full of errors and slang words that neither dictionaries nor any trend model have ever heard of before.